Hello and welcome everyone. Um, so today I'll be explaining you a very useful trick or you could say an algorithm which is known as which is widely well known as scanline algorithm. Okay. So before jumping into what it's all about, we're gonna be analyzing this algorithm by asking a following question okay so the question is let's say we're given a query of around 10 to the power 5 okay and uh, the input will be will be first the input will be n which means the number of elements and the number of queries okay let's say the number of elements are up to 10 to the power 5 2 okay and let's say the queries are also tends to 10 to the power 5 okay 1 2 10 to the power 5 okay so the uh, in each query, we'll get will be given an operations. The operation would would look something like this. Each operation would look something like this. We're gonna be given L. Okay. Uh, so the initial array elements, the initial array elements would be let's say, for the sake of the example, let's say the initial array element will all be zero. Okay. Initially, they will all be zero. Let's say we're okay let's say we're taking um, n elements and the initial elements are all zero okay um, and uh, uh, and for each query the operation would simply look like this l r and value what does this mean this means that each time when this operation occurs, okay, we have to do the following thing, which is from L to R position of the following array that we are given, we're going to have to add this value each time in each query, every time. Okay, so I hope you understand what I'm trying to make you understand actually. I'm repeating again we'll be given L R and value what we have to do we have to just add the value variable okay this value from L to R position okay from L to R position which means the total of R minus L plus one positions will be filled up by adding a value called uh, which will be taken from the user okay so I hope you get uh, what I'm trying to make you understand so if as the look if you look at the query constraints it's up to 10 to the power 5 okay it's so big the array elements are also up to 10 to the power 5 okay so if we just linearly try it I mean if you try the brute force approach it won't um, it will definitely exceed the time limit because the query is up to 10 to the power 5 and the array element is up to 10 to the power 5 okay so the time limit will not fit in one second or maybe two second okay one second or two seconds so it might not happen it, it will it won't happen okay so a lot of the problems okay uh, sometimes we need some optimization in this sort of cases and we are given queries or something like that so this particular case that I'm talking about okay it's actually there is a very very useful trick to make this operation for each query 
we had to look for up to 10 to the power 5 operations, right? Which means it could happen that I had I have to um, work on the full length of the array. So I won't have to work the full length of the array. In fact, uh, after using that trick, the scanline algorithm trick, the complexity will go down to just big of query. And finally, uh, 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 big of query, which means actually it would something look like times big of one, you could say. Okay, so we won't have to um, linearly go through each and every elements in each query. How can we do? How can we actually uh, do this uh, trick? Okay, so I'll be explaining you. Let's say we're given an array of eleven elements. Okay, now let's say the first. And uh, we, we have already assumed that each element initially will be zero. Okay. Initially, each element is zero. Let's say for the sake of our, uh, sake of the example, each element is initially zero. So, um, let me tell you one thing before explaining this scanline algorithm because prefix sum, if you know prefix sum, uh, prefixing is going to help a lot in understanding this algorithm. Okay, the small trick. Um, prefixing is going to be a lot of helpful for you to understand this algorithm perfectly. Okay, so I hope you understand. Uh, I hope you know prefixing well. If you don't know, you can Google on it how to do prefix sums or uh, you could you could check about uh, check uh, check about it on Google. So let's see uh, the first query. Uh, let's say we're given we'll be given the first query as okay. So from two to five, add value six. Okay. So if I have to do this operation, if I had to do this operation linearly or maybe brute force wise, okay, what would I do? I would go through each and every element from 2 to 5 and I would add 6. But in this case, in scanline algorithm, I won't have to do that. I will just simply do the following. What will I do? Look, as this L, okay, 2 to 5, okay. So the lower bound will be plus equal to the value. So 0 and 2 index, 0 plus 6 means 6. And, and then the upper bound plus 1 index, which is 6. What will I do? I will minus this value. Why am I doing this? I will explain you. Why am I doing this? So if I 0 minus 6, it will be minus 6, okay? Now what is the significance of doing this? This is a very interesting part here. That's, uh, because if you see, I but by, by just doing these two operations, I just completely filled from 2 to 5 with element 6. How? Remember I told you about the prefix sum, didn't I? Yes, prefix sum is gonna help to generalize the final array. Okay, let's say we have completed this query. Okay, let me, uh, okay first, let, let's, uh, let's say, okay, let's just do the prefix sum, I'll just show you how it works. So what I did, a lower bound plus equal to the value and upper bound plus one index plus minus equal to the value, okay, the value itself. So the operation was, in that operation there was six, so plus six here and minus six here. Now let's do the prefix sum. 
I do prefix sum. What, uh, what happens in prefix sum? We always add uh, the previous index value to the index itself. That's what. That's the simple thing. Uh, simplest way I can explain it. So if I prefix sum this array, it will go down to look like this. Remember, zero. Okay, zero plus six means six. So six becomes here. Now, for index three, I said the previous element will be added to it, the element itself. So zero plus previous element is six. And then similarly four. Okay, zero plus six it's six. And then five, okay, zero plus six. I said previous element plus the element itself. Okay, so six plus zero also six. Okay. Now the fun part comes. Remember what I did? I did upper bound index plus one index, and I did minus. Um, I did a subtraction of the value that I wanted to add from the lower bound to upper bound. So, so now you will know why um, why I have just subtracted because I don't want to include. The sixth index, which means the upper bound plus one index, to be in my prefix sum. That's exactly why I'm gonna do this. Now, let's see what uh, what the prefix sum give, gives uh, in the sixth element. Okay, so sixth element, the prefix sum would look like minus six plus the previous element. It's six. So minus six plus six means what? Zero. Yes. So minus six plus six means what? Zero. So in this way, we could um, uh, we could linearly uh, finally. I mean, finally, we could uh, after completing each and every um, query operations by the initial phase, and after ending the all of the query operation, we can do a final, just a final prefix some operations to find out which. Uh, to find out um, the final result of the array. Okay, so uh, I hope you understand this uh, explanation. I hope I made you understand. Uh, let's take another small example to make you understand more clearly. Let's say elements oh, yeah, to Let's say the first operation is okay. Do two to five, add seven. Okay. Uh, so we are assuming that the initial values are zero. You can you can input any value you want. You just have to do the following as I've, I have already told you. This is L. This is R. It's treated as L and R. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. So Lth index plus equal to the value. Which means this is going to be seven, and r plus one th index, which means five plus one sixth index, will be minus seven. And let's say we're given another query as three to eight, I guess, and add a two. Okay, so three to eight, so lower bound is three, three, so zero plus two means two. 8, okay, 8 plus 1, ninth index, minus equal to 2, so minus 2. Okay, that's it. Now, let's assume that our query operations are done. Now, we're going to have to do just the prefix sum. What will the prefix sum give? Okay, let's see what the prefix sum gives. Okay, this is 0, as usual, 0. This is 7, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this is 9. This is also 9. 9 plus 0, 9. 9 minus 7. What does this give? Nine, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this gives 2. Okay, 2. 
Now 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, so this is the final array, array and it looks to be like, okay, 7, 9, 9, 9, 2, 2, 2, and finally 0. In fact, if you do this brute forcely, I mean, if you do it uh, in a normal way, okay, without using the alg algorithm, you will find the same array as before. Isn't it interesting? Is it? It's very, very tricky and helpful, uh, helpful uh, algorithm. Okay, and uh, this might help you a lot in reducing complexity. I will show you the code that I have just written. This is the code you could say. Taking the query L and R and value. Look, lower bound plus equal value. The upper bound plus one minus equal value. And finally, I'm printing each. Uh, finally, this is the prefix sum portion. And finally, the final array is this. Okay. So this is how you're going to be doing the scanline algorithm. It's a very helpful one. I'll be uh, sharing some of the help. Uh, uh, I'll be sharing some of the problem links, which you can do by using scanline algorithms, which may enhance your knowledge um, uh, very well. Okay. I'll be uh, I'll be giving that link in the description box uh, related to scanline algorithms and so for today um, uh, so till next time.